Hi there, my name is Julian Woodcock. I'm the Technical Director for Loxley Resources. Loxley are an ASX listed company with the ticker LKY. Uh, we are advancing the Mojave project in the United States of America. So recently we've just announced that we've increased the land package and we have doubled the total claims to a total of about 40 square kilometers. What's really important with the land package is that we're directly abutting, abutting MP materials, which is the US's sole producer of rare earths. Our claim package uh, is as close as 1.4 kilometers from the, the pit crest at MP Materials. We've also recently just announced that we have entered a head serve agreement uh, with a company called EV Resources uh, for a potential ore purchase agreement, which would potentially give us supply of antimony feedstock. The reason this is important is on our ground, we're advancing an antimony project called the Desert Antimony Mine, uh, which potentially will give us feedstock. But we've also entered into an agreement with Rice University where we're looking at developing uh, an alternate process route to refine the stibnite ore into antimony metal. Uh, this is a proprietary technology that we're looking to develop and it uses deep eutectic solvents. So it's uh, organic solvents uh, as a form of hydrometallurgy. And having these alternate feedstocks gives us lots of opportunity to develop the supply chain of antimony metal within the USA. Antimony is a really significant critical mineral globally. Uh, it features heavily within the defense industry. Uh, it's used as a hardener within lead, so it has relevance in, in munitions. It also has many other applications. Uh, recently, China has uh, reduced the availability of supply uh, and exports of antimony, and which has seen the price of antimony rocket to over 60,000 US dollars per tonne. So it's really a critical mineral, especially important in the USA, and we're looking to develop a supply chain from mine to market. So also within our Mojave project, we have a high grade rare earth prospect. Um, this is of significance because we're abutting the MP Materials Mountain Pass Mine, which is, as I mentioned, a substantial yeah. producer of rare earths globally. The El Campo prospect, which sits within our claims, uh, has high grade surface rock chips of up to 12% TREO, total rare earth oxide. And we've had rock chips up to greater than 3% NDPR, which is the valuable component of the rare earths. What's been of significance in the last six months and has really seen Loxley advance um, both in share price and activity is the change in administration in the USA has really seen a focus on developing an onshore supply of critical minerals. Where this is important is we've seen much more uh, advancement in the uh, process of approving our drilling submissions with the Bureau of Land Management and has seen these processes being expedited. We're seeing a, a strong collaboration with the federal government and we've also engaged uh, another party called GreenMet who are seeking to support potential pathways for additional funding which could come through federal funding pathways uh, through, for example, the uh, Department of War.